Hi guys! So today, I'm going to talk about sexual harassment in the workplace. Workplace harassment is a broad spectrum of abuse ranging from Harvey Weinstein to Jim Halpert. I'm going to show you how to respond appropriately in every scenario. Let's start with the most cut and dried scenario, the Harvey Weinstein, excuse me. A coworker in a position of influence or authority, which could be your direct manager or the CEO of the company, calls you into his office and propositions you. There are four simple steps to deal with a Harvey Weinstein. Step one, convince him you've accepted his proposition. Smile shyly and giggle. <laughs> This is a language he will understand. Step two, make sure no one is watching. If his office has a door, close the door. If his office has blinds, close the blinds. Remember, you have to act quickly. Step three, Put yourself in a position immediately behind him. Now, some Weinsteins might protest or try to turn around. Just say something in a breathy voice that he will interpret as flirting. You could say literally anything, like, I'm gonna choke the life out of you. And he'll think it's a kinky form of foreplay. <laughs> Step four, choke the life out of him. Apply what mixed martial artists call a rear naked choke which restricts the oxygen flow to the brain via the carotid artery. If applied correctly, it'll take about 10 seconds for him to pass out. And if for some reason you forget to let the choke go, it'll take about 45 to 60 seconds for him to uh, stay passed out. <laughs> For those of you who are interested, I will create a companion video about how to stage autoerotic asphyxiation accidents. Oh, no. Next is the Aziz Ansari level of harassment. This type of harassment is persistent and inappropriate. Maybe it's someone who's made a comment about your physical appearance, someone whose gaze lingers too long, someone who won't take no for an answer even though you've told him you don't date people from work. This is not as egregious as the Harvey Weinstein and warrants a more measured response, but I can't think of anything. So. And the last level of workplace harassment is the Jim Halpert. This is someone who offers to help you with a project you don't need help with. Someone who invades your personal space, Someone who's just a little too friendly. There's nothing overtly wrong here, just calls for a conversation about boundaries, that's all. No big deal. Then again. So there you go. That's how you deal with workplace harassment. If you have your own tips about handling workplace harassment, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.